or higher than they've been historically? Well, I would, I would say that they certainly, to the extent that American returns have been higher than those around the world, at least in developed countries, uh, I, I would say that they are not solely due at all to accounting shenanigans. I, I, think, I think that the absence of honest accounting for option costs and uh, has been a factor, but, uh, but American business has done uh, very well uh, excluding, very well excluding any, uh, any uh, accounting activities that Charlie and I might differ with. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm no expert on, on exactly what returns have been around the world in developed countries, but my impression definitely is that American business uh, is well above uh, average, average for the developed world in terms of profitability, and you know I don't I don't have the answers as to why that's uh, occurred. I think that American business, uh, and I think the whole American system, has reflected more of a meritocracy than than exists in many countries, and I think that that a meritocracy works best. I think, and I think that mobility between classes, which is the flip side of a meritocracy, you know, does tend to get the Jack Welches into positions of uh, where they run a General Electric or an Andy Grove or an Intel or you know go up with Sam Walton at Walmart. I think I think if you'd taken those same individuals and dropped them down in most countries, they would have done very well. But I don't think they would have done quite as well as here. And I think that what they have done well has spilled over in a big way to benefit. The American economy. So I, I, I would not lay it all on uh, on the accounting shenanigans and the pension fund uh, accounting. That applies very heavily at some companies, and of course, most newer companies don't have pensions. Uh, so companies that have started in the last 20 or 30 years are much more inclined to have various kinds of profit sharing or 401ks. The the older industries that took on pensions have spurred to a great degree, I think by World War II when you got excess profits taxes that ran to 90 percent and there was a huge incentive to start pension plans and fund them heavily because the government in effect was funding 90 percent of your of your pension obligation so there was a great boon boom period in, 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 in the inauguration of pension funds and of course that, that meant steel and auto and all of those big industries at that time. Charlie? Yeah, it isn't so much accounting shenanigans as it is deliberate financial practice. Take General Electric. Uh, there's been a deliberate increase in financial leverage, which was made possible by the wonderful and deserved reputation. Uh, there's been a deliberate increase in repurchase of stock, which General Electric has done even when they're paying huge multiples of book value. Uh, that sort of thing does wonders for returns on equity, uh, as reported, as does the process of writing off everything in sight and various extraordinary charges, removing the uh, burden of past costs from future earnings. You put all those things together and uh, American returns on equity are higher partly because the management is deliberately set out to paint the company as unusually efficient in its use of capital, meaning that it earns a high return on shareholders' equity. Uh, think of how high we could drive our return on equity at Berkshire. I mean, we could make it almost any number you want if we just used enough leverage. Yeah, we could run uh, it with no equity. Run, we, yeah. we could run Berkshire with no equity. Yeah. And they, then people could say, gosh, these guys have finally learned how to manage the damn thing. <laughs> it's not been an objective uh, around here to reduce the equity to zero. Uh, but at other places, in order to make the reported return on equity good, they, they, they deliberately pound down the net worth as much as they can. Yeah. The questioner may have seen if you look at the S&P figures of the last 15 years, they report them both before special charges and after special charges, and there's been a very significant difference between those two figures. I mean, the uh, American business likes to 
frequently write off things and say that doesn't count. And of course that takes the equity down and it actually frequently benefits future earnings because uh, you remove costs that would otherwise hit the income statement in, 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 in future years. The truth of the matter is you have a part of this is, is shrewd and correct management of the company's financial structure and operations. And part of it can drift into gamesmanship. Region 5.